friends today in this video i am going to show you how you can develop a simple sign up and login page using php and mysql so if you see here i am keeping localhost and sign up in the browser it gives me the home page in the home page i am just showing the title here i am not showing any detail here if, if i click on sign up it gives me the sign up page I click on login, it shows me the login page. So I have a user already registered, so let me try to login. So there is a checkbox to show the password. If I click on it, here you can see the password. I click on login, so it logged in, and you can see it's showing the name and logout option. So if I click on logout now, it gives me the home page again. So let us see how we can develop this application using PHP and MySQL. Before that, you can click on the subscribe button to subscribe this channel and also click on the bell icon to get a notification for the new video. So let me show you how you can develop this simple application using PHP and MySQL. So let me show you the database first. I have a database called demo. And in this demo database, I have a table users. So all I have done, I have created a table named users. So let me show you the structure of the table users. So in this table, I have email, name, password, and sign up date. And ID is the primary key, which is auto incremented. So if I see here, I have already one user registered here. And that's why I could log in. So this is the table structure. So let me show you the folder structure here. All I have done here, C drive, XAMPP, HDDocs and sign up folder. In this folder, I have all the programs and the necessary files and the folders. Now let me show you the database connectivity here. I have created a CFG folder where I have put the dbconnect.php for database connection. Here I am using MySQLi connect to connect to database. So if you see this screen here, I have a menu here, which is top menu. You can see the home, sign up, login, and also logout and username will be printed here when the user logged in. So in this top menu, let me show you the code here. So I have a top menu.php. And here, this is an HTML uh, heading and all I have used here. And you can see if the user is logged in, I am using here logout and displaying the username. But if user is not logged in, I am showing sign up and login. And necessary PHP code is called here. So this is my menu. And if I show you the home page first, this is the index page. And I have included top menu here. Now, let me show you the sign up. Here is the sign up page. You can see these are the fields, email ID, name, password and confirm password. And this is a checkbox to show or hide the password. So I will have email ID, name, password and there will be validation for password and confirm password. And also email ID validation would be there. So let me show you the sign up page first. If you see sign up page, I am including the menu first and then using the dbconnect.php. This code onwards, it starts when the form is submitted. So let me show you the form first. This is the sign up form. And you can see action is, is the same page. And on submit, I am validating the form here. Validate form, this is JavaScript function. I will show you later. Here you can see email ID, name, and then password and confirm password. All these are in this form. One more thing you can see here, I'm using a jQuery to add an active class for the selected menu. If you see here, I have selected sign up. So sign up is highlighted. If I click on home, home is highlighted. Similarly, login. So for this, I have added this code to add an active class here for each of the program using the jQuery. 
So once the sign up form is submitted, so all I am doing here, I am just getting the email name and password and generating MD5 hash. And then I am showing here if the email is valid email or not. So just the format of the email. And if it is valid email, then only I will proceed. Also, I have to then check whether the email ID already registered or not because we do not allow duplicate email ID. So here we are checking if email ID already exists or not. If the email ID does not exist, then only we will proceed. So in that case, we will insert a row in the users table with necessary fields. Now, if I see here in the sign up form, so let me sign up one. So let me just show you. You can check this and see I have used the same email ID which is already registered. So let me see what happens. So email ID already exists. So I change it to test one. Now password. So sign up successful. You can see sign up successful. So if you now see in the database. So let me see the database here. You can see there is one more row inserted here, which is test1 at test.com. So now let us log in with the new user ID. Now here, if I give a wrong password, let me show you. So incorrect email ID or password. So let me give the correct password now. So login is successful. You can see. It is now displaying the username and the logout option. So now if I click on logout, it logs out from the system. Let us see the code for the login page now. So in the login page, we have email ID, password and show password. So let us see the code for login.php. Here is login.php. In login.php, we have Included top menu.php and dbconnect.php. Then we can see when the form is submitted, we are using this code. So let us see the form first. For the login form is defined here action equal to login.php and we have the input email ID and password. Then we have a checkbox here, input checkbox and on checking the uh, checkbox, we are calling the JavaScript function toggle password. So toggle password is given in validation.js here. We'll see that. And obviously we have active class added here using the jQuery. Now once the form is submitted here, we are checking that and we are getting the email id and password password is converted into md5 hash and then checking whether the row exists in the users table with the email id and password so if there is a match login is successful and then we are setting two session variables here name and user id and redirecting the user to the home page so this is the login form Let us see the JavaScript here. Validation.js is our JavaScript where we have defined the JavaScript function here. Validate form. This is the function when the form is submitted, sign up form is submitted. This validate form is called and we are just checking whether the password and the confirm password are same or not. If they are not same, we are not allowing the user to submit the forms where we are returning false. And the other function is toggle password. So which is just to show and hide the password. Here we are just changing the type input type of the password field where we are changing from password to text or text to password. So these are the JavaScript function we are using. And we have a style here style.css. So this is the style where we have included that in top menu.php if we see that 
we have included style.css and also validation.js is included here. So this is all you have to do for sign up and login using a simple PHP and MySQL database. So hope I could explain this. If you like this video, please give a like and click on the subscribe button. To subscribe the channel, also click on the bell icon to get a notification for the new video. Also, I would like to show you, I have a website which is codehowto.com and in this topic is already described there step by step. You can go there and see the instruction given and also you can download the code. You don't have to register or sign up in the website. So hope it will be useful for you. Thank you for watching the video.